Yo, what up guys, it's Adrian and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna go over one of my favorite platforms for actually gaining a lot of plays, reposts, comments on any of my tracks on SoundCloud. Before I actually wasn't a big fan of any sort of third party platform that would, that promised to get you more exposure, get you more likes, comments, but this one, this one is actually real. I actually tried it uh, just for YouTube. Uh, I just wanted to use it as an example um, to give you guys value. But then after that first time doing it and actually seeing the results, now I'm kind of hooked and I kind of want to do it again. So I do want to give you guys a heads up. There's two ways to use the platform. You can either do it the free way and do it manually and uh, listen and repost uh, other artists' music on your page in exchange for credits, or you can purchase credits and do it that way. Now, I'll show you in this video exactly the benefits of doing either or, so you don't have to think about it. I'm just gonna show you exactly how to do it. The biggest benefit about what this does is that it gives you social proof. People will take you more seriously once they see that you have a lot of comments, likes, and reposts on your music. You use the platform, it gets you tons of likes, tons of comments, and tons of reposts. So now you have a lot of social proof that when anyone randomly lands on your music, um, now they're gonna take you a lot more serious because you have all this social proof on your, your song. Basically guarantees you social proof on your music. So get ready, I'm about to take you guys through everything, show you the do's and the don'ts, shows you all the, the strategies and secrets behind how to use Repost Exchange to blow yourself up. So the way Repost Exchange works is that it's a point system. Basically, you listen to other artists' music and you can repost it in exchange for points. Now, once you have enough points, you can start running campaigns yourself and have other artists listen to your music and repost it and comment on it if they like it. By the way, guys, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment below. Extra points if you drop your SoundCloud handle, and I'm actually gonna pick someone uh, for my next video, and I'm gonna break down exactly what you can do better for your profile. So this is my SoundCloud profile as of today. Um, I'm gonna actually run a real campaign so you can always come back and see the progress of what just this one campaign does. Cause I don't really use Repost Exchange that much. Everything that I've done, all the growth that I've had has been organic. So I've only used this site once. Um, and I used it specifically to make a video on it. Um, however, because of that one, one incident of using the repost exchange, I've gotten crazy uh, results. So I'm thinking of using this more often. The reason I purchased the credit is so I don't have to cloud my SoundCloud profile with other people's music. So I purchased the credits to use the credits to uh, get other people to repost my music, get the views, the, the likes, the comments, and the repost. But I don't personally have to repost other people's music. However, I'm going to show you how you can do it uh, for free, which is the reposting other people strategy. Like if you're new to Repost Exchange, the top right is where you can get your, your link to refer a friend and get 50 credits. By the way, guys, if you do not have a Repost Exchange account, I'm going to leave in the description a link to repost exchange so you can create account if you use that link i get 50 points towards my uh, artist page so definitely go use that link if you have not used it already because it definitely helps me out and gives me some extra points this is a home page of repost exchange as you see you scroll down it tells you the type of account you have i have an artist plan i'm going to expand that later um, this is the amount of credits I have. Again, I don't use the platform that much, so I uh, don't have any credits because I used it all. 
you can get you can do outbound requests and you can also get inbound requests if you repost some other people's music they will assign you a repost i mean a uh, response rate and this is basically the amount of uh, direct requests that you accept so i'm not currently running any campaign my soundcloud followers are 881 and i get nine and i get nine credits per repost that i do on my account Mystery box is basically every time you repost on the track, you get a ticket put into a mystery box. So if you look right here, you earn one ticket per repost. And you can have a max for three, max of three per day. And basically what happens is you get entered into a lottery. And if you win, you win a free credit, a free plan or discount. So the more tickets you have, the higher the chances of uh, you winning one of those prizes. And you can do it every day. They, they pull every two weeks. What's also dope about Repulse Exchange is you, you have charts. So you can check the charts over here for different genres, or you can go to charts on the top uh, top right. Let me go over plans real quick. You can get really, really amazing results from the free plan alone. And I have the artist plan, and what that allows me to do is basically, it allows me to select what category I want my music to be uh, displayed in. So whenever I run a campaign, you have the options to uh, run the campaign specifically to your your genre. So that's what Artist Plan allows you to do. It gives you a bunch more features, but I'm not gonna go over all that. You can uh, look at them uh, yourself. The free plan and the Artist Plan is pretty much all you really need to to be to get a lot of results. However, if you go higher, Network Promoter Ultimate you get crazy results uh, you can run three campaigns at a time 10 at a time 20 campaigns at a time you get 20 boosts this is crazy so in the campaign section this is where you see uh, all the other campaigns that other people are running you can search by genre you can search by tag there's a recommended pro and i'm assuming that means that these are the best performing uh tracks out of everyone and these are just recommended right here and then there's also an all category which uh puts all genres in one i'm not gonna actually repost someone's music but i'm gonna show you how it works so you can uh you have to listen to someone's song for a little bit before you repost it once you press repost, you know, it says, do you want to like the track? Do you want to follow this person? Um, do you want to add them to your favorite? You can also leave them a comment for two extra credits. And if I was to repost, I would get nine credits to use on my own promotion. So the best way I suggest to use this is um, there's a little X right here. Every time you don't want to hear someone's track, you just press X. This will filter it in. And then once you, you clear out everything on that page, you just press refresh and it fills it right back up. This is like a sponsored post section. Um, this costs a certain amount of credits and I believe this is on one of the higher plans. Um, basically it puts you on the top. Uh, so you're gonna get a lot of uh, plays and reposts um, because you're gonna be on the home page. You're also gonna be in this section as well. Uh, so if you do upgrade to a higher plan, this is a feature you'll be able to take advantage of. So in the members section, this is where you're able to filter through all the members on the platform. Um, as you can see, it's a mixture of house, trap, hip hop. So if I want it, I can uh, filter through genres here, or I can search by name, um, or I can search by cost. Now the green dot is a response rate. Now, if you go over to the user section, the darker on the user side means how active they are. And this is the response rate on the right side. So red, orange, and gray means their response rate is not the best, but red, orange, and gray on the left side means that they're not as active as uh, some of the other members. So in the request section, you have two sections. You have incoming requests and outgoing requests. Incoming requests is how many people sent you requests um right now i have no incoming requests because my response rate is probably zero um but in the outgoing requests these are all the people that i've manually sent requests to and you send requests by again going to the members and then i can press request so i can uh filter by category and request these people to uh post my track if you do request and uh, it gives them 24 hours to accept if they don't accept 
within that 24 hours, you get the credit back. And every time you press request, it automatically deducts out of your credit. So now if you click on someone's account, it gives you the option to add them to your favorites to block them or report them. Uh, most of the time, a lot of the artists, they do leave their social media handle here. So you can go and actually like interact with all these people. Now, if you click on their icon, it brings you to their SoundCloud profile. So on their SoundCloud profile, this is where you can also reach out to them, listen to some of their other tracks. Um, and start building relationships with these people. This is what I mean by you can use this site very effectively on the free plan because um, I have zero credits, but I can easily earn credits every time I repost someone's track. This, this is how you do it for free. So you can spend like an hour a day on this platform and just repost people's music and uh, earn a ton of credits to get your music reposted, commented on, and liked by other artists when you run campaigns. Because if you don't have enough points, you're not gonna be able to run a campaign. So what I recommend is everyone who uses Repost Exchange to have a SoundCloud Pro account. Because on SoundCloud Pro, you're able to have a spotlight session. If you do Repost Exchange and do not have a SoundCloud Pro, then your page is just gonna be filled with other people's music. So you wanna make sure you're utilizing the spotlight section. This is where you're gonna actually put your music. So you can repost as many people's music as you want. These will still be the top five um, on your page. So uh, utilize the spotlight section for your music and then you can repost everyone else's music and it would just filter in under yours. I believe you have to keep that person's music on your page for at least seven days before you can um, unrepost it. If you unrepost it within that time frame, then you lose the credits. So Repost Exchange also gives you two free credits every time you log on to the platform. So they give you two free credits a day and you have to repost at least uh, one track in order to earn those credits. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy some credits. The more money you have, the more like of a, of the more damage you can do. Um, the more plays, the more reposts, the more, the more comments you can do. So uh, for the people who have money, they can take advantage of this platform and get so much social proof on their profile that they look crazy legit. I actually made a video specifically about this, about how to get 10,000 plays on the day of release. So go check it out. The video is right here. Just click that link and it's going to take you to the video. I'm going to show you exactly how to get 10,000 plays on the day of release. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some credits right now. All right, so I just bought a thousand credits, spent $30. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to actually run campaigns. So the campaign section, this is where all your active campaigns will be. Uh, right now I'm not running any campaigns. Um, as you see, I did run some in the past just to test out the platform um, and see, you know, see if it works. And I got some really crazy results. As you see, these are all real comments and and real likes and real follows. So these are real people. Let's run some campaigns. Let's let's uh, see how this sucker works. So it brings up a, a track list and asks you what track you want to uh, run the campaign on. I'm going to choose. So once you start a campaign, you get to choose the budget. You can max out your budget if you choose to. But let me just run, let's say 250 credits on this one. Enable Comment Plus. So people have the option to comment on your track. And every time they comment on your track, they get an extra two points. So uh, keep this on if you want more comments on your, your song. It makes you look uh, like a lot more credible because you have social proof on your track. You can also accelerate your track and it will cost 125 points, but you can uh, accelerate your track and it just makes it go a lot faster. So this is the benefit of the artist plan. The artist plan allows you to um, narrow the genre and show your music only to people in your genre. If you only do on the free plan, it's not gonna allow you to filter like this. 
So on the artist plan, it allows me to choose the genre I want my music to show up in. I want to get my music in front of someone who has a lot of followers on their account, because this is where I'll get the most organic reach. Um, so let me just put 40,000. Um, the more repo someone does on their profile, it means that they're less selective on the type, of, the type of track that they put on their profile. So now the last one is the average repost per day. I'm just gonna leave this uh, at five. So now I just run the campaign. So now my music is gonna be put on the homepage. So now every time someone comes on the homepage, they're gonna be able to uh, listen to my track and repost it. Now, every time someone presses play, then it counts as a play on the SoundCloud profile. So that's good. Even if they don't repost it, it still counts as a play. YouTube says that a large percentage of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed. It helped me out a lot and helps me rank in the algorithm so a lot more artists can benefit from the advice that I'm giving. One more thing that you guys can do with uh, Repost Exchange that's really sick is uh, there's something called sponsored follow campaigns. Now, sponsored follow campaigns is basically you pay points for people in your niche to actually follow you. A lot of times you'd expect a lot of people who actually follows you to unfollow you, but really 90% of them actually stays and you rarely lose followers because most of the time these people are gonna either, they're gonna forget that they even followed you. Follow campaigns do cost money. As you see here, uh, $25 to do a hundred follows. Um, again, if you have money, you can really go insane with this and rack up a ton of uh, followers on your account. And these are, again, real followers. For people who want to speed up their growth on SoundCloud, I highly, highly recommend this. And again, there's no harm in doing this because this is real followers. So another thing that I want to show you guys is that you can boost your campaigns. And basically what Boost does, it puts me to the top of uh, the campaign, puts me to on the top of the campaign. Uh, so say I end up on page five, it puts me to the top of page one. That's what Boost does. So since I have all these credits, I'm just gonna use them. I don't have any reason to keep them. So I'm gonna just run some more campaigns and use them all. So I just tried to run another campaign and I got an error message say you can only run two campaigns at a time. So that's the downside of uh, the artist plan. If you had other plans, you could run 10, 20, uh, 50 campaigns at once. Imagine if you do 50 campaigns at once, that's crazy. So I'm gonna have to actually wait to use uh, the rest of my credits. If you have not checked out my SoundCloud mastery course, then go check it out, the links in the bio it goes over everything it goes over marketing it goes over branding it goes over advertising it goes over how to start making money from your music a lot of artists do not know how to make money from their music and i'm going to show you exactly how to do that throughout this course so go check it out the links in the bio